What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the other day, Activision put out a little bit of a post about the cheating problem within Call of Duty. And I got to be honest with you guys, I was kind of shocked because, you know, the only information about cheating that we've been able to get is from other content creators. You know, Activision Call of Duty as a whole don't really touch upon the topic that much anymore. But they did go ahead and put out a post the other day. And I got to be honest with you guys, I, it, it doesn't convince me. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and discuss it. We're going to, you know, debate about it. You can leave your opinions down in the comment section, but personal preference, it really doesn't convince me that much. But of course, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you are interested in more content just like this, don't forget, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And of course, if you are interested in any of my live streams, I do that pretty much daily besides Sundays over on Kick. You can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here from Call of Duty updates, hashtag Team Ricochet update. Our team has seen and share your frustrations about a rise in cheating reports. We remain focused on this fight. With the launch of Season 2 Reloaded, we've deployed several aggressive upgrades, including fixes to combat flying vehicles with more on the way, new mitigation, boom, you know, vehicles that shouldn't be airborne or too airborne may randomly explode, Enhanced protections and increased response times for kernel level driver for the PC. Speed optimizations for detections in ranked play. Third party hardware device detection upgraded. Over 26,000 bands today. Our team continues development on further updates in addition to those that we launched today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, again, like I said, you know, I guess it's good that we're hearing an update regarding Ricochet, but how many times have we heard all of this stuff before, ladies and gentlemen? I just want to, I just want to mention it. Seriously, how many times have we heard all of this stuff before? Let me know down in the comment section because personally, I think it's been, what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus time. We hear this all the time. Ever since Ricochet was introduced, we constantly hear, oh yeah, you know, it's another band wave coming out. Another band wave. We're doing updates here. We're doing updates there. Yet and still, we continuously see Call of Duty on a downward spiral. Honestly, we are in a situation where I personally believe that they, they can't do any of this stuff anymore, ladies and gentlemen. They, they, they can't just put out posts like this. They have to prove themselves. They have to prove with action. When when people actually start seeing less cheaters in the experience, that's when, you know, we can go ahead and say, you know what, good job. But until then, you know, like I said, we've seen this post time and time and time again. But first and foremost, I want to touch upon the fact that 26,000 people were banned within Call of Duty. That is an absurd number. Absolutely insane that that many people we're currently cheating, and that's not everybody, okay? You have to keep that in mind. This is just a rough general number. There are probably hundreds of thousands of people who are cheating on a constant basis. And at the same exact time, these 26,000 people who are banned are more than likely getting back into the experience. You know, we've already heard from many different cheat distributors that it's very simple to go ahead and just get another account. And they give you insurances and other policies on these cheats. It's insane to think of, but yes, they do. Uh, you know, to the point where if you do get caught or you do get banned, you will still be able to obtain the cheats on a different account as long as you can get access. And it's not that hard to do for Call of Duty. It's extremely simple. So, you know, not only is that so many people cheating in the first place, but they're recycling themselves back into the experience because the Ricochet anti-cheat doesn't do its job properly. It, it just, it's such a crappy, crappy, you know, situation that we're put in here. And it, it's crazy to think that these cheat companies are pulling in millions of dollars. You know, you always want to believe that it's not that crazy, but in reality, you know, I want to be shocked if every other match had a cheater within it. And also, the thing that really disgusts me is the fact that they're claiming that they're, you know, increasing the response times for their kernel level driver for PCs and, you know, and stuff like that. But in reality, they're not really fixing the airborne vehicles. They claim that they, you know, they put out fixes to combat flying vehicles with more on the way. But then in the very next step, they say they have a new feature, the you know, the mitigation boom, that for vehicles that are airborne, they will just randomly explode. Meaning that no, they didn't resolve this issue. So people are still going to be able to access this. And, you know, yeah, obviously, if, you know, they get detected, the vehicle will explode. But no, no, enough. Like, I'm so tired of Ricochet being an anti-cheat that revolves around trolling. I don't care if they explode out of the sky. I don't 
care. What I would rather see is them teleport from the vehicle being permabanned out of the sky, and then the vehicle falls to the ground and explodes. That would be great, you know? But seeing them poof in midair and explode and die, and then knowing that they could still go ahead and get into probably another shadow band lobby or some crap later on, it, it just sucks. I don't want to witness that. Please, 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 enough with the trolling with Ricochet. I'm tired of every single solution, every single way that they can go ahead and, you know, resolve a problem for the community has to be resolved with trolling. Trust me, I get that the Call of Duty community is toxic, and they probably think that's exactly what they want, and maybe they do want to see stuff like that. But in reality, the only way the game's going to get better is if you stop trolling and you work on the game actually improving. Not the game, I'm sorry, the anti-cheat actually improving. Keep the freaking cheaters out of the game in the first place. That's it. That's all you have to do. But all in all, I, I truthfully think that this is just a load of crap. I, I really do, you know? I want to be happy about this. I want to be saying, yeah, you know, 26,000 bans and all of this, and they're fixing up the anti-cheat, but in reality, it doesn't sound too promising anymore. We've heard it a million times before, and a million times over, these cheaters have been reintroduced back into the game, and you know what's even worse on top of that? The cheats get worse, okay? It's not like they're you know, having a non-stop battle with these cheaters and they just keep getting aimbot and wall hacks and they keep getting back into the game and they keep recycling their accounts. No, we're getting worse and worse with the cheats, with what they can do, what they can do to players. Like, it's unacceptable that we are having these issues within a triple A game like Call of Duty. This isn't a game that doesn't have a budget or anything, okay? Activision had fat checks of fat pockets and now they're owned by Microsoft who have even fatter pockets right? So in my personal opinion, there's absolutely zero excuses for having a bad anti-cheat in this game. None. But of course, like I said earlier, we're just going to have to see with time. You know, you can't take what they say on paper seriously anymore. They have to prove themselves with action. And I don't know, you know, we're going to have to give it a month, maybe two months, and we'll see where the game is at. Because yeah, after these ban waves, there is a little bit of a reduction of cheaters, but they always come swarming back in. So we'll have to see with time if this is going to be actually effective here. And of course, they did mention, like I said earlier, you know, uh, speed optimizations for detections in ranked play and, you know, third party hardware device detection upgrade and stuff like that. And I'm assuming the third party hardware devices like stuff for Zims and uh, Cronus and stuff like that. So I wonder if that's going to be efficient, if it's going to work properly, or if these individuals will be able to get back into the game right away. I have no clue. I, I know sometimes I see in the comments section people are very open about using, you know, these cheats. Uh, and you guys know I don't accept that type of stuff, but I mean, if you do use these cheats, let me know down in the comments section if you are still able to easily get back into the experience. You don't have to worry about, you know, being detected by whatever they're doing for the third-party hardware, you know, software crap. And same thing in ranked play. Do you guys still notice a ton of cheaters within ranked, or is it calmed down a bit? I don't really play ranked that much, and with all honesty, I haven't really touched Call of Duty in a little while, which is going to be rough for me with cheaters. Ever since I heard that they can, you know, potentially get you shadow banned, I've just been really holding back. I'll be honest with you guys. I've been playing a ton of Hell Divers 2. I played a little bit just for Season 2 Reloaded so I can get some content so I can give you guys my first initial impressions, but I haven't touched the game since, uh, you know? I'll eventually dabble back in to see if cheaters are there. But realistically, I, I don't know if people are going to even care. You know, I feel like people have lost faith within Call of Duty and their anti-cheat. And I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. You know, do you believe what they're saying here? Do you think that they're actually making good updates, upgrades for this anti-cheat? Or do you think it's just a waste of time and they're just trying to tell us what we want to hear? And eventually down the road, we're going to be stuck with the same exact problems of just having non-stop cheaters. And the problems that we have now are going to be 10 times worse. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We do indeed post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And sometimes, you know, we do double upload. We haven't done it recently because there hasn't been too much hot news or hot topics coming out. But when there is a hot topic, you know, we will post midday. So make sure you're notified on this channel so you can stay up to date on every video that goes live. And of course, last but not least, if you are interested in any live streams or if you need a squad to go ahead and hop into some gameplay, by all means, you can see my live stream over on Kick. We are pretty much live every single day besides Sundays and that stream usually goes live around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern time all you got to do is just go into the chat hit me up for my ID you can add me up whenever you feel like it and you can hop into the squad no matter what game we play you know whether it's Hell Divers, Modern Warfare 3 you know whatever game that we're on if you see an open spot you're welcome to join in but you guys can find a link to that kick channel down in the description of this video but as always thank you for tuning in I'll see you on the next one peace out